Yes, it's me, Trevor Sparks. And when I'm in New York, I watch the Culture Share program. I like to big up all Grenadians and all West Indians, all Jamaicans. Big up one love. Trevor, let me say a special welcome. Thanks, and uh, it's my pleasure being here, you know. Uh, all right. And um, I, I'm oh, good to be in Guinea very soon and, you know, do my best that I always do, you know. But who is Trevor Sparks? Trevor Sparks is the man who sings for the ladies. Uh, I'm the man who, and when I'm on stage, I sing for the ladies. And for, please, everybody still, you know, but especially the ladies, you know. That means that you are sort of a love man in the regular yeah, or something I'm in the... Yeah, I'm a lover, you know. I'm a lover's rock singer. I try to send a message over, you know, as something I've been through and, you know, who else has been through it. Sometimes you might hear my, some of my songs and you might say to yourself, wow, you know, I went through that, you know, that experience. So, you know, that's what I try to bring out to the people, them, you know. So by the time Grenadians are finished experiencing the love of Trevor Sparks mm -hmm. on stage, what do you want them to say? Well, I want them to say, why you are, you left us sparkling, you left us some thinking, you know what I mean? For more, you know, and I always love to say, oh, oh, we'll have to see Trevor Sparks again in Grenada again. You know, I so I always want him to always think good things. You know, um, I'm gonna touch on a a little hardcore subject. Mm -hmm. You are the you are a love man. You see of reggae, right. all right. When you think of reggae rap dub mm -hmm. in the vein of the hardcore, like the uh, Shabba Ranks and mm -hmm. the Cutty Ranks or what have you, you get the feeling that it is synonymous. Mm -hmm. Or I'm gonna make a blank statement. You don't mm -hmm. get the feeling. It is synonymous with violence because right. usually most, a lot of the reggae concerts or rap concerts end up in violence. Mm -hmm. That is not to spite the music. The music right, in itself right. is artistic, uh -huh. right? But the kind of, of, uh, of a message mm -hmm. and signals it sends out among the youths, it incites violence. Do you agree with that? Yes, right. I mean, most of the, some of the DJs, them, deal with too much of the gun, gun lyrics, and they say, when you when you DJ when you're a DJ or you're a star and and you and you're facing the people them you have to you have to you have to have some kind of um format you know culture wise is very important in the music business because look at you them who growing up listen and admire you and look up to you they expect you know they look up to you and they say boy you know a shop of ranks or whatever you know no special name not really calling no names still but I'm just saying that some of the DJs them need to needs some more culture in it because look, I use them growing up, look up to them and expect, you know, anything they do, they follow them. So I think that we need more culture DJs in the business. Not saying that um, the DJs are not, are not doing their work, but we need some more culture. I need to cut down, cut out the gun, gun thing because I'm really not teaching the youth them nothing. I'm going to call some names for you now. Mm -hmm. Bob Marley, Jimmy right. Cliff, Bunny Whaler, Burning Spear. You think that that kind of reggae mm -hmm. is now a forgotten kind of reggae these days, and mm. that is the crux of what reggae really is? No, really, it's not really, it's forgotten still, but it's just a little part, you know, we need to spit it out a little bit more. I mean, Bob Marley did his work and, you know, he's dead and gone, but we still need some more Bob Marley's and some more Burning Spear and some more culture and Jimmy Cliff's, and some more younger, younger like me, which, you know, to teach them, to use them more because right now it's there but it's not, you know, it's not spicy enough. We need some more of it, you know what I mean? Well, you'll be getting a lot of spice when you go to Grenada. Yeah. There's a land of spice. Land of spice and sunshine <laughs> and, and yeah. How did you get into the music business? You seem, I mean, just talking to you, I get mm. the impression that um, you, you're not, you're not a just come. No, the no, Music no. has been within you. Well, my, as my, as my uncle is uh, um, the manager for Super Power Records. And um, I started as a young age, I used to sing in church and schools and them stuff. Because uh, uh, I was born in England, but I grew up in Jamaica. And when I, when I actually left England and went to Jamaica, then I got more of the, the vibes more, because you know, so Jamaica, where the reggae really come from and everything. So I really got the vibes from Jamaica. Then leaving Jamaica, coming to the US, that's where it really started, where I started doing, you know, my first tune, um, Little Way Different. And from then I started to singing, singing and singing until I reached the peak. But as I want to say to the people, them, uh, the people that make us a star, all right? 
when the people them say we are star, we are star. Understand? Self praise is no more recommendation. I remember, I always remember that growing up in the business. So it's been from England to Jamaica to the US. So and now you're going to Grenada. And then I'm going to Grenada now. So before Trevor Sparks mm -hmm. comes on stage, he's there backstage, mm -hmm. and it's now the atmosphere is a revved up atmosphere, mm -hmm. and you're preparing to come on stage. What goes through your mind? Well, the first thing we praise to God Almighty, you know, and I uh, give him, he gives me um, the strength to go up on stage to do my best and to please the people, you know what I mean, and um, try to get my message over to them and. You know, get with the people them. Cause that's the most important thing. You know, to get with the people them. You know, cause you have to be, you have to be there with the people them, and the people them getting involved with the show as well. You know, cause performance is very important to me. You know. Remember Friday night in Grenada. Right. The location is Sea Moon. Sea Moon. Keep that word in your vocabulary. All right. Sea Moon in Saint Andrews. Sea Moon in Saint Andrews. And that's All the right. largest parish in Grenada too. The largest parish. Yes. All right. Okay. Okay. You don't mix it up with with uh, with what is it, Saint Anne's? Saint Anne's. Right. Saint Anne's. Right. Saint Anne's. Saint Andrews. Right. Saint Andrews. All right. Saint Andrews. All right. Saint Andrews. All right. And uh, the Saturday night you'll be at Queen's Park. That's Queen's in Saint Park. George's. That's the capital. The capital. Queen's Park. Okay. And then the Sunday you'll be in Hillsborough Caracou. That's a sister isle. Sister Dependent right. of Grenada. All right. You know, Grenada, Caracou, and Petit Martinique. All right. All right, great. So you keep those names in mind. Uh, and Culture Share, the program, will be in Grenada mm -hmm. to record your performance live. Oh. And you'll be featured in New York, mm -hmm. very wide audience. Okay. We'll be looking at your music featured on the program. Okay. And you'll also be featured in Grenada. Okay. So this will be a big plus for you. Mm -hmm. We'll be there to capture you live. Oh, that's good. All right, great. So you, you'll be at your best. So everybody will be listening to Java Sparks then. Oh, de oh definitely. Oh, all right. And uh, we have to brand. When you come back here, mm -hmm. you'll even be a bigger star. Oh, Not so. a monster, Not but a monster, bigger star. A bigger star. <laughs> all right. <laughs> okay, Trump. It was I nice respect. having you, man. All right. Okay. And we're looking forward to three great shows in Grenada. And um, keep the culture alive. Coming at you. And keep the ladies' hearts happy too. Oh, yeah. Always. One, one love. Yeah, one love. I respect. Respect. Yeah, man. Power.